now we'll see about other types of solids but of course that uh, that are not in the university syllabus oblique solids it is a solid uh, which has its axis inclined to the base you see this is the base if you take uh, the triangular pyramid or uh, triangular prism whatever it be the the axis is not perpendicular to the base if that is the case that is called oblique uh, solid it is a oblique triangular pyramid oblique triangular prism oblique cone oblique cylinder right so this is about the oblique solid but it is not in the syllabus kindly make a note of it then we'll see about uh, instead of a full solid if it is cut then there are two types one is called the frustum other one is truncated now let us see about frustum when the pyramid or cone is cut by a section plane or a cutting plane and if the cutting plane is parallel to the base or perpendicular to the axis then the portion remaining after removing the top portion is called frustum so it is is called frustum of uh, triangular pyramid frustum of square pyramid frustum of pentagonal pyramid frustum of uh, hexagonal pyramid frustum of a cone you won't have a frustum for a prism or a cylinder why okay even if you cut it uh, like a cutting plane is parallel to base then it becomes a new and a smaller prism actually we cannot call frustum of uh, prism okay frustum you will get only for the pyramids there is no frustum in the case of a prism and cylinder now we see about the other type truncated solid when the solid is cut by a section plane inclined to its base then the remaining portion after removing the top portion is called truncated of course you will get the truncated solids for both pyramid and prism okay it is truncated pentagonal pyramid truncated square pyramid truncated pentagonal pyramid truncated hexagonal pyramid truncated cone truncated cylinder and truncated pentagonal prism so you will get truncated solid even for the prism you will get truncated solid for both prism as well as pyramid 